All right, we're recording. So welcome everybody to our very first just live online testimonies. This is going to be um, recorded so that hopefully those of you that are ambassadors can um, use this as a tool. And I hope to continue things like this um, at least once a month or bi-weekly. And um, that way you can invite friends, family, and prospects to hear what the good news about Plexus is for a lot of people. So uh, most of you, I think, know who I am, that I'm Dusty Duncan. I'm a Sapphire Ambassador on the Freedom Team. And um, I'm very excited about tonight's call. So let's just get started with listening about um, what great results that Plexus has done for, for others. So our first speaker is Barbara. Hi, everybody. Are we good? Yep. Okay. I am going to go ahead and get started on my um, story in just a second, but basically my background is I'm an educator of uh, 29 years. I'm from Cherokee, Texas. I am also in the Freedom Group. And um, being an educator, if any of you ha are an educator, you know what kind of stress that puts on the body. So I'm just going to lay that out there for you. Uh, and and see you know you'll see as my testimony goes along um, I am uh, it let's see let me go back I am 51 my health issues began when I was in my mid-20s I had three kids within three years that'll do it to anybody so um, my husband was in law school at the time, and so lots of stress and lots of uh, problems going on. Went to the doctor around tw age 25, was diagnosed with depression and IBS, um, lots and lots of problems. Fast forward to um, about the time that I was 35, and really didn't have any weight issues, just didn't feel good. So about 35, I herniated two discs in my back. Uh, they didn't recommend surgery, but basically I was you know, really couldn't do anything. So my active lifestyle, I didn't participate in anything and everything was very sedentary. So hence I gained about 50 pounds. So that in itself doesn't make you feel very good. Um, but you know, when you're 35 to 40 and you have active kids and you know, you just can't participate. So moving into my 40s, still having more health issues because I'm setting, you know, not moving, not getting a lot of things done, still don't feel well. Went back to the doctor with my stomach, lots of bloating and pain and, and things that I just knew it didn't feel well. Um, they diagnosed me with candida. And when they showed me the pictures, my stomach was all white. My esophagus was totally white with candida. And I had a lot of lesions that the candida was causing it. And um, that was the pain that was uh, I was having. So a uh, doctor would prescribe medication to work on that. And it would go away for a while. Then it would come back, going to go away. And so for about six years, I dealt with that issue. Uh, but in March, here I come. Uh, I saw a post on Facebook, and um, one of my what my upline had put on there, and I started looking at plexus, and I thought, you know what, this sounds like something I need. And I'm, I've tried to diet, I've tried to do the low carb, I've tried to do paleo, and and so you know it made me feel better for a little while, but then it didn't last long. Uh, I'd go back to eating, you know, poorly again. And so Plexus in March, started in March. Um, I started on the triplex and I knew within, I started out on the slim on the first week, but I knew within the first two to three days, I knew that slim was the answer and Plexus was going to work because my stomach issues, you know, decreased, um, the bloating, the pain. Um, I didn't know what brain fog was, but when it went away, way then I knew that I had something going on because I actually you know the world was like a brighter place um, I could focus and I could think and and so by the end of the first week on the slim um, it was amazing so uh, fast forward to now I've lost 17 pounds but about 30 inches all over everywhere I've lost uh, uh, two clothing sizes um, I have tons of energy and I just feel great and so yeah, Plexus is an amazing, amazing company, and it's an amazing product. And so 
I feel like that this is something I know that I will continue forever. So yay, Plexus, and thank you, Dusty, for letting me be on and tell my testimony. Thank you, Barbara. We sure appreciate you um, taking your time away from your family tonight to share with us. Thank you so much. Awesome testimony. Yes. You're welcome. You're welcome. So next we have Casey. So Casey, if you want to jump on, introduce yourself, tell us where you're from, and then you can take it away. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. I am Casey Graham. I'm a gold ambassador with Plexus, and my journey started last year in May of 2014. My daughter was... I'm about five or six weeks old when I jumped into Plexus. I, or soon after I had my daughter, I suffered with postpartum depression, and it was it was worse than what I was willing to admit. Um, but it was bad enough that the doctors were ready to put me on prescription medication. Um, I did have the baby weight that I wanted to lose, and um, so I was interested in in weight loss. But I'd seen uh, my good friend Whitney Houston her post about Plexus, but I was really skeptical and didn't, didn't want to participate in any, in any of that. I had done other weight loss companies and um, other network marketing companies for a business. And so I just didn't care to do that. Um, but she messaged me about Plexus and she said, Hey, I want you to try this. And I was just real honest. I said, Whitney, I don't have the money to buy a trial pack. I, I, I can't even afford a trial pack. So she said, well, fine, I'm going to send you a seven-day trial pack and just use it. So um, it got to my house, and after using it for three days, I realized that I hadn't cried in three days. And when you suffer with depression, that's huge. Um, so I knew that it was working, and I immediately told her, okay, how do I get more, but how do I get it the cheapest way? And so she said, well, you need to come a, become an ambassador so you can get wholesale pricing and it's $34.95 to sign up, which at the time I didn't even have $34.95 to sign up. Um, so I found a way to make that happen. I worked my business um, the moment that I got my ambassador um, number and website. I started posting other people's testimonies and I made enough money um, from my first paycheck to cover my products. Um, I started using the triplex and accelerator and um, I could immediately start telling, you know, the results of depression was gone. My energy was better, but a little bit of a health background. Um, I have a pacemaker. I've had one since I was 16. I've had colitis my entire life. I've been hospitalized three times and had to have a annual colonoscopy every, every year. Um, I've had migraines, had prescription medication for migraines. I've had psoriasis, um, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, tons of pain with that. Um, just a multitude of health problems. And so from the outside, I looked healthy and happy, but um, the reality was I just kind of got used to feeling bad. So I had my um, annual colonoscopy in October of last year. I didn't tell my gastroenterologist about Plexus, just the nervousness of maybe him saying no. And um, when I went back in to get my results, he pulled up my results of the colonoscopy and he looked at me and he said, I don't know what you've done different and I don't know what you're doing, but whatever you're doing, you need to stick with it because not only do you not have colitis, you have a perfect colon. And so I, um, I told him about Plexus and a little bit about the products that I've been taking. And he said, stick with it. You don't have to ever come back in here unless something changes um, or you're, you know, at the certain age where you're supposed to get colonoscopies every year. So that in itself was a huge, huge relief for me. Um, I also sleep through the night. I was always that woman that woke up three or four times a night. That wasn't just with pregnancy. That was kind of always. Now I sleep um, really well. My daughter is 17 months old and super active, but I still have energy to keep up with her and um, work not only my plexus business, but also a, you know, seven to four job in corporate America. I have no polycystic ovarian syndrome pain anymore. The pain was so bad that the doctors were ready to do um, surgery and even spoke to, spoke to uh, me about a hysterectomy when I was 24 years old. So, um, Plexus has been a huge blessing. I now um, take the triplex every day. I take Mega X and X Factor every single day. And um, 
I have suffered with chronic neck pain from traumatic events in my life, car wrecks and whatnot. And since taking our Mega X, my pain um, has not totally subsided, but it is most definitely not near as prevalent as it was. So um, I share these products because they've been a life changer for me. And um, now the business has been a total financial blessing for me as a single mom. Oh my gosh. You know, Casey, <laughs> your guys' stories just make me have goosebumps all over. And I'm just so thankful that, that Whitney reached out to you. And I know I'm sure you are thankful she did too, but thank you so much for taking time away from that beautiful little girl you have and sharing with us tonight. Thank you, Dusty. All right, it looks like we have Dorothy next. Dorothy, will you introduce yourself and tell us where you're from? Dorothy, you're, you're muted, honey. Mute me. Sally, I'm <laughs> okay. I'm Dorothy Mason. I live in Carlsbad, New Mexico. Uh, I had to retire in 2014 because, 2012, because of spinal surgeries. I had severe back issues, low back issues. I had two spinal surgeries three months apart because I bent the titanium rods. They put in heavy duty ones, told me I had 5% chance of walking and was basically not going to be able to do a lot of stuff and changed my life totally. That goes on until 2014 when we were struggling with my husband's diabetes, he's type two, and Twyla Case, my wonderful upline, mm -hmm. um, shared with me how uh, Plexus would help level his A1Cs. And we decided we would try it. Well, after being married 47 years, I knew if I didn't go on it with him, he wouldn't stay on it. So we made the decision to try the slam and accelerator at first. And in two months, we leveled his A1C from 10.4 to eight. But the amazing part with me taking the slam and accelerator, I lost weight, felt better, and then I added the ease and was on six pain prescription medications at the time, so I was basically a zombie. And in November, I started weaning off of some of the pain prescriptions. But I also got feeling back in my feet in November that I didn't have since 2012. Uh, then we went, we've stayed on the product. We've added the Mega X and the X Factor along with the Triplex. And all the, the pain or the pain relief are now ease and the nerve health. All of these are such wonderful products, I'm not gonna be without any of them. And I signed up as an ambassador just to get the product the cheapest. And not only did I get a bonus there, but I also pay for my product. The second month I was in Plexus as an ambassador, my products was paid. Okay. And um, then in this past February, as Dusty knows, I was supposed to go to Lubbock to training I showed up, but I left because I was having hypoglycemia issues, just didn't know how bad. They were dangerously low, and who knew that the same product that Plexus has to help lower diabetics sugars would, lower, would raise mine to where they're not, not dangerous and do it faster than their prescription medication. So the reason this product is, is great, in my opinion, is it works so well and the great news is my husband's a1c is now at seven in november we start winning off with some of the prescription diabetic medicine. that's exciting how exciting and did you mention in there what was your percentage they gave you to be able to walk so dorothy 2012 five percent chance of walking you walking now 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a use, I use safety, but I can walk, and that is a blessing. I can even drive now. So. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, and my upline does speak while I Whitney. They're the greatest. Oh, well, you're very sweet, but you know what? I have to tell you all on the call tonight, um, I had the blessing to go with some of these ladies on the call tonight to Midland, Texas, and to see Dorothy walk in, even though she was on a cane, I seen her walk into that meeting, and she was happy, and she was wearing her plaques and shirt, and she was just buzzing around there. Who cares about that 5% chance of walking? That woman was getting it. <laughs> she proved them all wrong. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> I told the doctor when he did the last, don't count me and God out yet. That's right. That's right, Dorothy. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, next on the call, we're going to get to listen to you. What's that, Dorothy? I said, thanks for having me on the call tonight, Dorothy. Oh, thank you so much, Dorothy, for, for giving us your time this evening. It's amazing. I love your story. Um, so next we're going to go to Ashley. Ashley, will you tell us um, where you're from and your plexus testimony? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Hi, guys. I will say I was there in Midland, and I also saw Dorothy walking in. I think she even did a little dance on her cane. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I am Ashley. Uh, I live, well, I used to live in Austin, Texas, but I made the fun move over to Midland. Um, so I first learned about Plexus through Casey's post, and I will say I was on the verge of unfollowing her. And finally, I was, you know, I was kind of thinking, like, what, what is this Plexus thing? And I saw her post her own personal picture, and I was like, hold on. Okay, maybe I need to try this. So I sent her a message, and she filled me in. And it was probably a good four months until I actually made the jump. Um, and I was kind of the same way, you know, I didn't have the funds for something extra. And then income tax season rolled around and I was like, hey, what better way to spend my money? So I tried it and I'm not even going to lie. I was ready to, I wasn't ready. I wasn't going to work out. I wasn't going to change my eating habits. I was ready to prove her wrong and I was ready to get my money back. Well. It didn't work out that way. I was, I was wrong. I don't like to say that, but I was. So not even 10 days into it, I'm texting Casey and I'm like, hey, how do I get in on this? I, I'm going to keep doing this and I want cheap products because, hey, don't we all? So I signed up as an ambassador. And uh, of course, dear old mom was the first one to sign up with me. And she loved it. She, she gets really bad migraines. And, um, and they were gone, but she's so inconsistent. So that was that. Um, with me, I feel like my testimony is, there's nothing crazy going on with me. Um, I think the best part for me was I've had high blood pressure since I was 15 years old. Um, no big deal. Didn't really think about it too much. Uh, and Plexus has been able to lower my blood pressure. At one point, it was a whopping 176 over 115 to 120. Mind y'all, I am 27 years old, so that's not okay. Um, since I started taking Plexus, when I check it now, it's anywhere from 115 over 90, which is a lot better for me. Um, my, my big thing is uh, all of the clothes in my closet. I feel like I have a completely new wardrobe because all of my clothes from a couple of summers ago fit me again this year. So I love that. Um, and then also, I don't, some of y'all may know this, but I used to take secret McDonald's trips and I would order enough for two people. Sometimes I would even get an extra drink so they wouldn't know that it was just for me. <laughs> um, now I, you know, when it does happen, I get one meal and I can't even finish it, but I can tell you that I can pass those golden arches now and not even glance that way. Um, but my, my big thing is my dad. Uh, earlier this year, my dad was diagnosed with a brain tumor, and in April, he had surgery to get it removed. Um, there were some complications, and one of his um, 
vocal cords was damaged uh, due to lack of oxygen to the nerves. And so when he woke up, brain tumor was gone. We were happy. That was great. But the poor man couldn't speak. And even worse, he couldn't eat. And here I come showing up with like a bundle full of, you know, goodies and snacks. Um, so this carried on for about two weeks while we were at the hospital. And I remember them telling us that if things didn't get better, that we would have to take home the feeding tube and the family would have to learn how to do it. And I'm completely grossed out by that stuff, but of course I couldn't leave my mom alone. Um, so nurse Ashley jumped right on that. And what they were, what they were doing was they were having to put pills into his feeding tube because while he got this cancer, he also developed diabetes um, and high blood pressure. So when I figured out that they were doing that, I, um, I was like, okay, I know mom's not taking this anymore, but dad, I need you. I want you to try a couple of Plexus products for me. And so he was okay to do it, but he just never got around to doing it. And so finally I placed my order and I added an extra, um, X factor and the nerve support on there. And I sent that to him. A couple of weeks later, I get a call from my mom and my dad is no longer on the feeding tube and he's having milkshakes. So a little improvement, but hey, I was so happy to not have that feeding tube anymore. Um, I'd say a couple more weeks later, I get invited to my aunt's house to go have dinner and I walk in and I see my dad at the table with a steak in front of him, which I'm sure that's not that huge of a deal, but when this poor man hasn't eaten in a month, it was huge. So that is what Plexus has done for me and my family. And I think that's all I can say at this point. Oh. But catch me later and I promise I'll tell you more. Oh, Ashley, that's wonderful. Oh my gracious. Next time we need you to have your dad on here where he can talk to us. <laughs> <clears throat> wonderful results out of you and wonderful results out of him. That's so exciting. Thank you so much for sharing with us tonight. And P.S. He is officially a Plexus ambassador now. Yeah. He's taking the full lineup. And, <laughs> and got my mom taking it consistently now. So I am like the happiest camper ever. So that's Casey, wonderful. Whitney, Dusty, thank you guys. Oh, we're blessed to have you on the team. Blessed to have you, have you as, as a friend. And thank you again so much for sharing your, your story. So we're going to go now to Sally, who's going to share with us about what Plexus has done for her. Hello, everybody. I'm Sally. I'm Dorsey's daughter. <laughs> and she's the reason I started Plexus. Uh, I, I told her when she first started, Mom, I'm not going to sell anything. I'm not going <clears> to <throat> I'll be your customer, but I that well that lasted just a few months. In November, I became an ambassador because I started with the products in September, the Triplex and the Factor, and I noticed the benefits right away, like less appetite. But my reason for starting Plexus was hopefully to lose some weight and prevent diabetes, since it runs rampant in my family. And as you heard the history, I also have to deal with the stuff of hypoglycemia. I don't want either one of them. They can keep it. Um, <laughs> um, if y'all aren't muted, could you one please? One of the things is I've battled with asthma. I've battled asthma for many years, and on September 9th, 2014, you know, that's one year ago yesterday, I had another asthma attack. Um, for those of you that have never had them, they're pretty scary. And this is what I remember about it. Um, it only took me the use of, of using the inhaler one time. Used to, it was sometimes three and four times before I could get enough air to feel like I wasn't passing out. Um, on top of that, I didn't have to use the nebulizer. I didn't have to take another oral medication like I usually had. Um, and that was my last asthma attack. It's been a year. Um, I no longer take over-the-counter medication. 
I still have the inhaler just in case because I don't want to be caught without one. <laughs> um, but I don't use the nebulizer. I went through the other day and threw away all the medicine for it because it was expired. Um, when I went for my physical this year, the other thing I found out was I've had thyroid problems and I was on uh, thyroid medication. But I'd quit that before I started Plexus because I didn't like the way it made me feel. Against doctor's orders. <laughs> Against mom's orders, too. <laughs> and um, I got my blood work back for my physical, and my thyroid levels are, are back in normal range. No medication. Plexus is what's doing that. I don't know which product. Don't care. I take them all. <laughs> um, also... Um, I had allergies really, really bad, which is not uncommon when you have asthma. Uh, I don't take any over-the-counter or prescription medications for those anymore. Um, I think I maybe three times in the last year have taken Benadryl. And I used to be, that was my friend at night. Me and the little pink pill, we knew what was going on. And I didn't leave the house without it. If I got down to where I had like a third of a bottle, I was buying more. I don't do that anymore. Um, the other thing was that I had IBS-like symptoms for many years because I'd had a hysterectomy when I was young. And from that time on, I had dealt with it. But I never would talk to the doctor about it because, you know, if, if they don't diagnose you, you don't have it. Well, those symptoms are, are all gone. And I know that's the probiotic and the bio cleanse. Um, also, I couldn't take multivitamins whether they had iron or they didn't, they made me sick in some form or another. I've been on the X Factor for a year. Um, no problems whatsoever. Uh, for the first time in my life, I'm actually taking a vitamin. I, and I attribute that to the whole aloe. Um, this list of health improvements goes on and on for me and my family. And as y'all saw, I decided to forgive you. Emotional when mom gives her testimony because I've watched it. So, to be able to have relief from these symptoms is just amazing. Um, as a bonus, I've watched it. I don't know the number of inches because I, I didn't measure very well. Um, I'm on the triplex, the X Factor, the Mega X, Ease Combo, and the Accelerator. Um, and I have to thank my mom for kind of pushing me along because I'm not like her. She'll talk to anybody without any reservations, and I'm pretty shy. <laughs> I, I've come out of that, and I've started talking to people, um, so I'm growing. Well, good and girl. And you and Twyla and with great support to you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much for sharing your testimony. Just amazing. I mean, I just get shocked. Every time I hear somebody's testimony, it always just makes me feel just so good inside to know what we have, you know, that is, is helping so many with so many different things. So thank you so much, Sally. Thank you for having me. Now it looks like Maddie's up. So Maddie, you want to share with us? Hey, everyone. Um, I'm Maddie Williamson. Um, I currently live in Wisconsin, Tomo, or sorry, no, Taylor, Wisconsin, we just moved, um, Ruby Ambassador with Lexus, of course, and um, my health story is similar to some of these women's, um, which amazing testimony so far tonight, so glad to be on the call. So anyways, Mine started back in 1999. I was 18 years old and I, di I was diagnosed after a um, colonoscopy and some tests and all that. I was diagnosed with IBS, um, broke, new, newly married, broke, um, no insurance. So we had thousands of dollars worth of um, hospital bills and um, all my tests came up negative, negative, negative. So they basically said, you have IBS, here's a list of over-the-counter prescription or over-the-counter meds you can take. And just to kind of deal with the symptoms, kind of put a Band-Aid on it, I guess. So um, 
didn't have a way to actually go to other doctors and kind of try to figure out what was going on. So I just decided that this was my life and this was what I was going to have to live with. So I basically, I drank a lot of caffeine. I was addicted to Dr. Pepper. And just because I felt so horrible, I needed that pick me up, I guess, to get me through the day. So I would drink a couple of 32 ounces of Dr. Pepper every day and um, ended up having um, three kids within five years and um, cysts and horrible um, monthly cycles and horrible hormone issues. Um, so fast forward to 2013 in August, I saw my cousin um, post a bowel plexus and she had lost some weight. And at that point I had gained a lot of weight and I needed to, I was thinking, okay, this will help with um, my depression with, you know, maybe some anxiety I'm having. So we, I called her up and she went to tell me about the products and I said, I don't even care about them. You're having great results. I just, I just want what you're having. So I signed up that night just to get the discount and um, had no idea about any of the probio, bio cleanse, um, anything like that. I just wanted, I just wanted to lose weight. Got my products and um, within three days, quit Dr. Pepper, quit all caffeine. I didn't need the pick me up. Um, I didn't realize that I was having brain fog until I could actually think straight. Um, energy level through the roof. I felt like I could get twice as much done in a day. I felt like my kids were slowly getting their mom back. And um, I didn't even realize, and I started off, I should tell you, I started off with the Slim, the BioCleanse, and the ProBio. And um, got on some of the group pages, and I started seeing people post about Candida and all of that. And I didn't even know that existed. I didn't even know what Candida was until Plexus. And um, kind of started going through, reading a little bit about it, studying a little bit about it. And then it dawned on me, I don't have any IBS symptoms whatsoever. And um, I'm now two, two years, a little over two years, well, I'm symptom free. I've lost a little over 22 pounds and um, no allergies, no anxiety, no depression. Um, I have my kids on it. I have a teenager and a preteen who both take it for um, allergies and acne. And, um, and then my little girl, she was born. And um, when she was three, they, we started to, um, when we were potty training, every time she would use the bathroom, there would be some blood. And it started to get progressively worse. So we had her at some children's hospitals in um, St. Louis, and they tested her for um, Crohn's disease, but never could really diagnose it. So in November of um, 13, I took her in for her yearly GI, pediatric GI, um, and she was still having all the symptoms, bloody bowel movements, bad stomachs, fever, anemia, um, things like that. And just anything that came across, she caught because her immune system was so down. And um, I happened to say, do you mind looking at these products? And um, the pediatrician didn't really approve them, but he told me, well, there's nothing in them that could hurt her. Um, so I put her on them, just one of each, one pro bio, one pro bio and one bio cleanse. And um, next month will be two years since she's even had to go in. So fantastic. As a mom, that is what you want. No prescription drugs. You know that she's healthy and um, it's just, it's amazing. She hasn't gotten strep throat. She hasn't caught anything. Just she takes... Um, one of each and an X factor every day. And um, it's just, it's amazing. She's a totally different kid. She's kind of sassy and she's fun to have healthy. So anyway, so that's my, um, that's my testimony. Oh my, Maddie, thank you so much. I mean, both you and your daughter. Wow. 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 Thank you. Oh, 
you know, yes. especially when I hear those. Mm. Wow, I, I just, I'm just kind of speechless when I hear those little ones. You know, that just, that really touches my heart. I'm thrilled for you, but I'm so thrilled for your little girl. That just makes me so happy. So happy. So thank you so those much. The ones that get me too is the little kids. <laughs> right, that's so, right, because you thanks, know they're going to have a... Thanks for giving me on the call. Thank you for giving up part of your night for us. Um, we are going to go to Michelle. Michelle, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us where you're from? <laughs> Hi, I'm Michelle Farley. I am from far west Texas, but I live in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex now. Actually, in a very small little town, not very far from Dusty, we found out when we were in Arizona in, was it May or June? I don't even remember when we went. June? So, my plexus story, I had to write down some notes because I couldn't remember how many surgeries I've had. Um, in 2009, <clears throat> I started having some health problems. Before that, I'd been relatively healthy. Um, living in the desert, you really don't, I mean, other than some seasonal allergies, it seems like people in the South, I had to have um, ear, nose, and throat surgery, and that just sort of escalated to the point that between 2009 and 2015, I had, I've had three colonoscopies, two of which they removed massive amounts of precancerous cells, I've had ENT surgery, um, I've had kidney stone stage surgery, I've had um, dental surgery for, and I'll tell about that. I had a breast cancer scare, and I had to have an emergency. Um, I had to have my thyroid removed in an emergency. So in 2009, um, 2010, I had my first colonoscopy. Um, and little by little, started gaining some weight, started having some just what they said were women of your age problems, right? But I'm thinking, and then I was still in my, you know, mid-30s, and I'm thinking, woman of that age, what does that mean? Um, started gaining a little weight here and there. I was sitting at a desk by then um, in a working for the university. Um, 2011 started getting worse. By then I had gained 20 pounds, which for me was a lot. Um, I'm looking, trying to think. In 2011, 2012, my hair started falling out. Um, I started developing shingles. I uh, had the worst night terrors ever. If you don't know what night terrors are, count yourself. I'm very fortunate. It is probably one of the most horrific experiences I've ever had. And I went to my chiropractor because my GP kept just patting me on the head, just eat a salad. That's what she'd tell me. Just eat a salad, eat a salad. You just need to exercise more. Just eat a salad. Um, and my chiropractor actually told me that there was something wrong with my thyroid. My chiropractor, mind you, tells me. Something was wrong with my thyroid and my intestine. Um, 2012, I went to a thyroid doctor and he told me that um, my GP needed to put me on antidepressants and only that uh, most of the illnesses that women have, it was all in their head. There was only one in a thousand women that actually had something really wrong with them. So then I just got pissed off. So I started eating healthy, cut out gluten, started doing research. I just, I quit, you can ask Kara, um, I just quit going to the doctor because they just kept telling me, eat a salad. By then I had gained another 10 pounds, so I'm up 30 pounds, and unfortunately I'm almost 5'9", so it was easy to carry. However, I worked in an office where I had to dress appropriately, so that meant having to buy more clothes. I, my 2000, I'm trying to think. My daughter graduated in 2013, so 2000, the latter part of her junior year and her senior year, um, whatever was going on had gotten to the point that I missed most of that. I mean, I was still at the football games and high school rodeos and stock shows, but as soon as we got home, I went to bed. As soon as I got home from work, I went to bed. Saturdays I slept, Sundays I slept. Um, I cried all the time. She cried all the time because I was crying all the time. Um, it just was a really bad place for me. In 2013, she actually got sent to the thyroid doctor because they found some nodules. And by then, I had just given up hope. I had gained a little bit more weight um, and just resolved myself that, okay, whatever I'm supposed to be going through, this is it. And I mean, I was exercising and eating healthy. Um, and so in 13, we went to the thyroid doctor and the doctor said, it's usually genetic. Let me test your thyroid. So I got up there and she did a sonogram on my thyroid and she said, you need to have surgery now. Like 
as soon as I can get an operating room booked. My thyroid was about 10 times its normal size and was as hard as a rock. She had told me that it actually could have probably been taken out 10 years prior to that. Um, I, and what, what most people don't understand is I have a, um, an autoimmune disease which attacked my thyroid. So I have Hashimoto's, which most people think it's thyroid disease that causes Hashimoto's. It's actually the other way around. So um, Hashimoto's is brought on by uh, excessive trauma to the body. We won't even get into that. Um, and so I had my thyroid taken out in August of 2013. Um, I felt a little bit better. They put me on um, thyroid medicine. Still not, I, someone else mentioned, um, I think it was Sally was talking about the thyroid medicine. Didn't like the way it makes you feel. Still having problems, she's shaking her head. And of course, I have an entire library by now. I probably spent two or $300 with Amazon on thyroid books because nobody has an answer for me. Um, the thyroid doctor just patted me on the head, said, you know, you've had your thyroid out. Life is going to be great now. You're, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Still having problems. Um, 2014, I go in. I finally make them change my medication after I went in with the stack of research. Felt a little bit better, but still was having problems. Um, 2014, I developed a, a, another disorder that is um, a side effect of the autoimmune disease and thyroid disease that affects your menstrual cycles. The doctor put me on birth control to stop it. At 40 something years old, there was another 10 pounds I gained. And by then I had gone from, and <laughs> Kara's probably shaking her head, from being crying and, 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 and cranky all the time to I didn't care, which I think is almost worse than being depressed because when you don't care, Nothing matters. I didn't care if I died tomorrow. I just didn't, I didn't want to die, but I didn't care. I just, I didn't care about my house, didn't care about the way I looked, just didn't care. And so by then, Kara had started on Plexus. And, and in the very beginning, you know, she was kind of on and off again. Well, rolls around to 2015. I have now officially gained 45 pounds. And she kept messaging me because we talk every day on Yahoo Messenger, like we actually talk. And she's like, you need to try it, you need to try it, you need to try it. And I was like, no, I have been praying for supernatural healing, right? And, and now I look back and I think there's a story about the man that sits on the roof and it's flooding, right? And all of these people kept coming by to help him on a boat and an airplane. And he ends up dying and he goes to heaven. He goes, well, God, you know, why didn't you send me anybody? Well, that's kind of where I was with Kara. And she kept, you know, try this, try this, try this. I don't want to try it, don't want to try it. Um, so she showed up to my house this spring, 2015. She was at that point down 40 pounds off of most of her meds. When she walked in, I literally wanted to punch her in the throat. She was genuinely happy all the time and just in a good mood and all this energy. And I'm like, oh my God, you have to leave. I don't want you in my house anymore because it was just, it made me cry at seeing how good she felt. I was happy for her, but at the same time, it was just, I mean, I just cried myself to sleep because here I was with all this excessive weight. I was still having side effects of the autoimmune disease. Um, and I had missed out with so much with my daughter. So finally, in the very end of March, I got on Plexus. I was like, okay, I'm going to try it. Jumped in, feet first. This is you know, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. Um, I kept a journal. Within the first 10 days, I had noticed um, that I was sleeping better. I wasn't sleeping all night, but I was actually sleeping. Um, I had energy. I was actually waking up on time. And after about two weeks, I noticed that I hadn't taken a nap. Like, I was like, looked around. I was like, wow, I haven't stopped in the middle of my day um, to take a nap. Um, I am now five months in. And I'll have to tell you about, I'm thinking it was about May or June. Uh, my daughter told me, this is, this is crazy. You are the most obnoxious person I know. You are just so happy all the time. Like, this is the mom I knew when I was little. So she, all she had remembered through high school was the mom who cried all the time. And that's really hard to see that look on your daughter's face. That she has those memories that it wasn't just me that was looking through it. 
Your whole family is affected when you're battling with a, with a disease and nobody can see it. Um, so it's really hard because you think you're hiding it and you're not. You know, our kids and our animals, they know more than anybody else, right? And, and she knew and she toughed it out. But she finally, about May or June, she told me, you're like the most obnoxious person I know. You have so much energy. You're worse than the kids I nanny. But she nannied a two-year-old and a five-year-old. Um, it, it didn't upset her, but it irritated her so much that she started taking the pink drink. And within a week, she noticed a difference. She started backing off of her. Um, she was diagnosed last summer with de depression and anxiety. And she has started knocking, um, taking, cutting back on those pills. So I am five months into Plexus. Uh, my hair is not falling out anymore. Um, fortunately, I've always been blessed with very thick hair. No shingles. Um, the night terrors are stopped. I am down over about 20 pounds and about 25 inches. Um, and I love life. I have done more and traveled more and been involved more in the last five months than I have the last five years. And I owe it all to my annoying sister, Kara. And she promised she wouldn't say, I told you so, didn't you wish you started sooner? <laughs> so I love my Plexus family and, and I am on the triplex and the accelerator and just um, after a convention started on um, the other two products, the vitamin and the mega, the mega X. I can't remember the name of it. I still have, I still have, yes, I still have. Um, and that's one thing is the brain fog um, dealing with the autoimmune disease for 10 years. It has caused, um, but I'm believing not to be permanent um, memory loss. I, I, I'm believing that this too will get healed. So sometimes I, I can't finish my sentences. So that's my Plexus story. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Aren't you glad you gave in and listened to Kara? Aren't you glad her annoyingness transferred right over to you and you got to annoy somebody else into trying the product? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. So let's just roll right into Michelle's savior, Kara, and she'll finish up our call tonight. Good evening, everybody. Um, and to Michelle, I told you so, and you should have started sooner. <laughs> um, my story began, I guess, in 2014, end of 2013, when Whitney started making Flexus posts. And like everybody else, I was skeptical. Skeptical. I thought it was too good to be true. Um, but I was desperate. I was at my rope's end. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. I lived most of my days in bed or on the couch. If I had to do something here on the ranch, I live on a ranch in New Mexico. Um, I had to sleep or rest up the day before, and then I'd rest for two days after. So I ordered the products with my birthday money the end of January, got them February of 2014. Well, I got sick. I had one respiratory infection after another, and I had just finished a round of steroid injections in my back and my hips. And after three or four illnesses and a bunch of other steroids, I put on 40 pounds in about three or four months. Um, so finally, the end of May, I was really drew my line and said, this is it. I've got to give it a try. If it sits on the counter, people, it doesn't work. So I started taking it consistently every day. And I wasn't one of those that saw results right away. I was probably a month into it until one morning I woke up. And when I say I woke up, I, mean, I, mean, I woke up before um, the alarm went off, before the dogs had to go out to go to the bathroom. Um, before my husband, you know, got up and I was wide awake. I couldn't believe it. Um, so then a couple weeks later, I added a couple more products. I was on the slim and accelerator then, and I started noticing other little things. Um, my sugar cravings was gone. I had energy. I was sleeping great. And as of now, I have been consistent since May of 2014. I am off nine full-time meds, five as needed. And a whole grocery sack full of over-the-counter stuff. Um, I was a 15-year insomniac. I now sleep like a teenager. 
My sugar and carb cravings are completely gone. I used to be able to drink two to three liters of Diet Coke a day and a half a gallon of sweet tea and a pot of coffee. Um, I have great all day long energy. I don't have any of those afternoon crashes anymore. I rarely need a nap, but I still do lay down sometimes just so I can snuggle with my critter babies or rest my back a little bit, get off my feet. I have been anemic and hypoglycemic my whole life. Both of those are gone. Um, I'm off my happy pills because I really am happy. My depression's gone. My panic attacks are gone. I've been, had migraines since I was 16 and I have not had a migraine since I started in May. Um, along with migraines, I had sinus headaches. I had allergy headaches, or those are allergy headaches. I had cluster headaches. I had plain old headaches. I had headaches that had headaches. I don't have them anymore. My allergies, I am allergic to cats, dogs, horses, dirt, feathers, and I live on a ranch. I have feather pillows. I have um, chickens. My dogs are in the house. My cats are in the house. My allergies are completely gone. I used to take two meds a day, two sprays, and usually eye drops. I don't take anything. Once in a blue moon, um, I might take a saline spray. Right now with fall here, this is usually my seasonal time of the year and nothing. I'm waking up every morning with clear eyes and no snot running out of my nose or down the back of my throat. And then I sniffed. That was from crying. Um, <laughs> I have had interstitial cystitis. I my bladder just flat quit working when I was 21 and I wasn't actually diagnosed until surgeries and many UTIs and kidney infections until I was in my thirties. I've actually had a tube to pee through through my stomach um, two different times and it's a very painful disease. Your bladder basically can't expand because part of the lining has gone. So when you get an infection, it usually goes into that lining you take antibiotics and you're, test clear, you seem cleared up, but that infection really still is down in there. And so then after a week or two, it just comes back. Also with the disease, um, the weather change makes your bladder spasm. So my bladder was more um, competent than the weatherman. It would do backflips. I mean, I could tell you when a storm was coming. There were certain things that I couldn't eat and drink because it would be very painful and cause spasms. Um, for, I have to no longer have pain or anything related with it at all. I also had kidney stones along with that and I have not had a kidney stone and I have birthed more kidney stones than most women do babies. Um, after I had my hysterectomy when I was 40, I'm now 49, I was diagnosed with, well, the doctor told me, I'm not going to diagnose you with fibromyalgia. I'm going to treat all the symptoms. Well, to me, that was telling me I did have fibromyalgia anyhow. I no longer have any of those problems or arthritis or bursitis. I think last winter I had two small flare ups and it was on days when, you know, it was 10, 15, 20 degrees out. And I used a little bit of the ease cream and doubled up in my ease and it was gone. I've got chronic back pain from lots of car wrecks, horse wrecks, and I've got five bulging discs. I did just now finish another round of injections, not necessarily for the pain, more so I'm not limited in what I do because I like to be physical living on the ranch. And I'm happy to say that the last time I went through a round, I gained 40 pounds. This time I went through three rounds and I gained two pounds. So I think that's a pretty big victory. Um, I have plantar fasciitis in my heel. It's completely gone. I've been having shingles for about five years now. And when I say shingles are a pain in the ass, I mean they're really a pain in the ass because that's where I get them. I had the vaccine about three years ago and I still continue to get them. So since I've started on Plexus, I've still had a few more outbreaks. They're getting fewer and fewer and far between. I think the Mega X with um, its help with stress management and relaxation is probably gonna be the final thing to help me really nip it in the butt, pun intended. <laughs> and now I do have a breakout. It's one to three spots. They're as big as a dime and they're gone in three to five days. And I have maybe a half a day to a day where I get that fluish feeling and the fever. And I will take that over two to three to four weeks any day. Um, I used to bruise really, really bad. I no longer bruise. I had acid reflux. I bloated like a toad frog, swelled up all the time, held water retention, and I was constipated. My mom likes to tell my stories about being constipated since I was a baby and I got my first hemorrhoid when I was 16. And when the doctor told me, 
Um, it was on the day that we had physicals for high school and the hall was full of the boys and he hollered, I don't need to look at your butt. You got hemorrhoids. I was so embarrassed. So on top of being, I guess, normally a constipated person with all the meds I've been on over the years, it was really bad. I could go a week, 10 days. I mean, I felt like if somebody accidentally bumped into me in the grocery store, I might just explode all over him. Thank God I never did, but that's all gone. Um, I was the type of person that when I did go to town, if somebody three um, aisles over in the grocery store had the sniffles or the flu, I was going to catch it. I have not been sick in over a year. My husband, the grandkids last summer, they all had the puking bug. I was the one cleaning the puking bug and them up. I never caught it. My, nail, my nails are growing. My hair is growing. Even my eyelashes are growing. Um, I've had thyroid problems. I'm even off my thyroid meds. I don't recommend that anybody does that without a doctor. I was always right on the, you know, borderline of needing them. And sometimes I think that the doctors just gave them to me because they didn't know what was wrong and they wanted me to shut up, quit bugging them. So that's what they did. I have TMJ and I do still wear a mouth guard at night and I have very little flare ups of it anymore. If I do, I take a couple E's and it's gone. And the only side effect I've had is I'm down 60 pounds. I went from a 16, 14 to a seven, nine and I'm living life again. <laughs> so that is basically my Plexus story. <laughs> and I'm so glad that Whitney posted about it. And I'm so glad to be on this team. And I'm so happy to share it with others. So I hope everybody has a good night. And I thank you for having me on the call. Thank you, Kara. Your story moves me every time I hear it. And I'm sure that there were lots of people on the call tonight that had never heard it, that are just as blown away as I am. So thank you so much for spending your New Mexico night with us. We really appreciate it. To everybody on the call tonight, thank you to, to Barbara and Casey, Dorothy and Ashley and Sally and Maddie. Michelle and Kara. Without them tonight, we wouldn't have had a call. It was amazing to get to hear your guys' stories. I hope that these blessed you, and I hope they educated you, and I hope you got something out of it. So um, we appreciate you all being on the call tonight, and um, we're just proud to have you. So you guys have a blessed night, and thank you all again for joining us. Hope to have these types of call calls a lot in the coming future. So I pray that we grow and grow and grow with more and more people as we go. So um, those of you that are on the call tonight, if you're a, 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 pers a customer or somebody that's never used the products, please get back with the person that um, invited you to the call today and um, find out for some more information from them and find out if Flexus could be for you. Um, so we'll keep you guys posted on um, when the next call is. And thanks again, guys. Have a blessed night. Oh, I've got people messaging. Thanks, Dusty. Good night. Thank you. Thanks, Dusty. Thank you Thank all you, so Dusty. much.